Hello everyone. Welcome to Tells Visionary. Today April 9th, our word of the day is queasy. Q-U-E-A-S-Y. Queasy. Queasy is a six-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Queasy refers to the feeling that causes nausea making you want to vomit. In other words, nauseous, feeling sick. It is commonly used to describe a feeling of discomfort or uneasiness, particularly concerning one's stomach or a general sense of nausea. It can also be used to describe a person who is easily made to feel sick in the stomach or uneasy. If you eat a sandwich made of turkey that expired two months ago, you'll likely feel queasy and throw up. Queasy can also describe a feeling of nervousness, uneasiness, or anxiety. If you're queasy about making a speech in front of the entire high school, you have a feeling that it won't go well. If you feel queasy during a flight, both meanings of the word can apply. You may be queasy, as in anxious, because you're afraid of flying. And you may also be queasy, as in sick to your stomach, as a result of the air turbulence. Here are some tips on how to effectively use the word queasy in sentences. When using queasy to describe physical discomfort, it is important to provide context and clarity. For example, after eating the spoiled food, she felt queasy and had to lie down. The roller coaster ride made him feel queasy, and he had to step off. Queasy can also be used to express emotional uneasiness or a sense of discomfort. Here are a few examples. The thought of public speaking always makes her feel queasy. He felt queasy about the upcoming job interview, as he lacked confidence. If you want to describe someone who has a sensitive stomach and is easily made to feel sick, queasy can be used in the following ways. She is queasy around strong smells, especially those of seafood. He has always been queasy when it comes to traveling by boat. When using queasy to describe a general sense of nausea, it is important to provide specific details to enhance the sentence. Consider the following examples. The bumpy car ride left her feeling queasy and reaching for a bath bag. The pungent odor of the chemicals made him queasy, and he had to leave the room. Queasy can also be used metaphorically to describe a feeling of uneasiness or discomfort that is not related to physical sickness. Here are a few examples. The politician's controversial statement left many people feeling queasy about his intentions. The sudden change in the company's policies made the employees queasy about their job security. The word queasy is a versatile adjective that can be used to describe physical discomfort, emotional uneasiness, a sensitive stomach, a general sense of nausea, or even metaphorical uneasiness. By following these tips, you can effectively incorporate queasy into your sentences and enhance your communication skills. Similar words include, sick, nauseous, squeamish, nauseated, sickish, ill, upset, unsettled, sickly, queer, unwell, woozy, green, bilious. Examples of sentences using queasy are I'm queasy about giving such violent figures celebrity status. Her descriptions of extreme poverty and deprivation can give you a queasy feeling. After eating too much dessert, Macy felt an uneasily queasy feeling in her stomach. I started to feel queasy as soon as the boat left the harbor. Just the thought of blood makes me queasy. She felt queasy because of her pregnancy. Make sure to save this new word, queasy, so you can practice using it in your everyday sentences. That's all for today. Thank you for spending your time with me. I hope you learned something new. Remember, Practice makes perfect, and we'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment after every video. All comments are welcome. Don't forget to like and share this video. 
Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you receive similar videos every day. Have a fulfilling day. See you tomorrow. Cheers.